Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, we will play e4 on the first move, and our opponent here is 2160. So we'll try to win here with the Petrops uh, opening. So here we'll retreat our knight to c4 and hoping that after capture we have a timely uh, bishop to e3 attacking the knight. And for example, after d5, we have a uh, king said castling. So here he actually do another thing. For example, after this move, so it actually threatens to do ball or defile. So we will simply retreat to e2 to a safe square, and maybe later on we can castle on the king's side. But here in this position. Still, we have a slight advantage, for example, because we are actually in a sort of uh, lead in development. For example, after d4, attacking the knight, so we can uh, again immediately develop our bishop to an uh, open line. For example, after bishop to f4, if we castle, we can do queen to d2. And try to castle on the king side. I mean, to the queen side. For example, after queen to d2. And hoping that after king side castling for black, we have a uh, queen side castling for white. So again, uh, we immediately connect our rooks on this position after we have a king. I mean, queen side castling on the board. So maybe he will play bishop to e6 to cope up with development. We have a6. Okay, he actually tries to attack our bishop. So he tries to win our uh, bishop here on the board. Maybe, for example, we can play bishop to uh, g5. And although after a capture on c3, we have queen takes c3, knight to d5. We have bishop takes to e7, attacking the queen. For example, after knight to d5, he attacks our queen. We have bishop. I mean, bishop takes. And again, it is actually seems to so easy on the board, but we can win his. Uh, I mean, the queen. Although he can win our rook after knight takes c3, but uh, we can immediately. Retreat or okay, he go for another way. He didn't uh, tries to win our uh, rook. Uh, maybe he just want uh, some uh, king takes to d8 to have some equality. But after knight takes to d4, we have bishop takes and again uh, trying to win the d6. And uh, still, we have slight advantage. But here, although it ends up with uh, knight versus uh, the bishop, but still uh, the quantity on the board, the material still uh, have the same. So it is still a drawish, for example, here in this position. And the only thing that we have on this uh, on this game is that we have a time advantage with seconds versus uh, a minute to play. So we have a time advantage. We will try to uh, go for a simple plan, which is to try to play solid uh, so that uh, he can actually... Uh, be not too comfortable to play on with uh, a seconds I mean a time deficit on the board so okay uh, we try to play here intending to this move the idea is to try to open the uh, h file so that we have some sort of counterplay for example here can retreat our king and okay we can give some check 
and tries to win some of his pawn and also the game later on so we can try to win so here he actually drops on time so we actually win so just a recap for example on this game in which we actually play with uh, the pit troops opening after this position and he simply and I simply capture the pawn and then tries to go with the sideline after a uh, knight to c4 on this position the mid line here was actually uh, a retreat to a uh, knight to f3 but i choose to have some interesting move after that c4 he capture and tries to develop but although it also fail after knight to c5 because again i move another piece but after knight to c6 still i am in a little development with a half moves after net c3 for example this position and later on we actually goes for uh, a radical equality although i have uh, an advantage on this position because i already have a king safety and i was actually now on a little development which is the task here is to go with uh, an immediate middle game that we should attack now the black king, but although after this uh, bishop to g5 maybe this is my mistake but uh, again after this move although i find some equality for example because here he doesn't uh, capture a rook but we have a simple bishop to h4 if he capture a rook and it ends up with uh, a rook versus two uh, minor pieces so again later on we uh, tries to manage to win on this position because we have a lot of times i mean a lot of time to uh, do some solid moves because here he actually left some seconds so uh, after some exchanges and this critical uh, in game I win, for example, I after I manage to have some active rook on the board. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.